Hello everyone, this is Mohammed from PyCAD. You may have already heard about the groundbreaking segmentation model recently launched by Meta called SAM, Segment Anything Model. And let me tell you, the results have been nothing short of spectacular. What is truly impressive about SAM is that it can work with a variety of prompts, including bounding boxes, masks, and points. And while the paper also mentions the possibility of using text as a prompt, this feature has yet to be implemented in the code. We can only hope that it will be added in the near future. So I created this repo just to show you an example of how using SAM for medical imaging. So if you want to see the original uh, repository, so it is here. So uh, Facebook research slash uh, segment anything and you can find everything about the uh, the model you will find the paper there is a demo there are projects and you can find anything about this uh, model here in the original paper uh, the original repository sorry so for my repository i just cloned or forked the same uh, repository that does the segmentation and i added a small function that will uh, read a icon file and convert it into the proper format that can be passed to the model okay so if you are interested you can just come here i will leave the link in the description so don't worry about this and there is the most important thing here is this uh jupyter notebook which is uh, like it is just a demo of how to use the sum with medical imaging and here you see this is the same folder that contains the files to run the sum model you, everything is here but for you you will just need to uh just clone this repository and it will work for you and also you will see here that I added a button to open the file or open this Jupyter Notebook in uh, Google Colab because you will see that uh, for me I tried running it in my PC I couldn't especially with some VITH which is the largest model I couldn't run it in my PC so I uh, tried running it in Colab and it works so this is the Jupyter Notebook if you want to download it you can also of course once you uh, clone the repository here everything will be there otherwise if you want just to run it for testing or just a demo you can open it in Coolab using this button so here let's just wait now after opening it in Colab, it is the same uh, the same Jupyter Notebook provided by uh, Meta Group but the only thing that is different is this function here that is reading daikon file okay so what will what you will need to do for this one you don't need to think about it because it's just generating the button to call up so here where it starts the project the first thing that you need to do is to clone this repository so you run the cell before that you need to connect okay it's initializing now you need to go to uh, files and see notebook setting you need to check if it is using gpu or not so if it is not GP using gpu the uh, server will not uh, we cannot handle the uh, the like this model for uh, segmentation so you need to select the gpu otherwise it will not work okay so let's just put save now since you are in collab you don't have the repository or the code in your uh, directory which is this one so let's just uh, the first thing is to clone it so run anyway now it is cloning the repository if you refresh the folder here you will find the repository here with everything the sum the the jupyter notebook which we don't need for now but this is what we need this folder and also here in the folder images i included one slice which is a daikon file that you can use just for testing and for you if you want to upload your files of course you can just click here by right button and upload files and you can test uh, for the same direct for the same code so after uh, cloning the repository you need to install some dependencies for them they had it only opencv and matplotlib and of course they are downloading the path to the model weight checkpoint but for me i added also this pip install pydicom because we need pydicom to read the dicom files so let's just run it here and wait until the uh, installation is completed and then now it is downloading the no it is still installing pydicom now it is downloading the uh, checkpoint model checkpoint so you will need to wait a little bit a few seconds depending to your internet connection so now it is completed so yes let's just include the uh, dependencies that we, we will need 
because I am not going to explain everything about the code because the purpose is just to use the same code but for medical imaging so we will run the cell which will help us to show the mask and show the bonding box which is the box and now here in the in the example they are just reading uh, the a normal image normal jpeg image but i just left it here but for you you will not need it because we are not uh, using a jpeg image for our uh, Im medical imaging uh, purposes We'll use DICOMs, Nifty, or anything like that. For this example, I am taking only one DICOM, but if you want to use it for Nifty or something else, you can always adapt the code. So let's run this cell to because this uh, function prepare DICOM. It will take uh, the path to DICOM. It will read the DICOM here, normalize it, and then convert it into unsigned integer 8 bytes. And of course, since it is normalized here, so the values are between 0 and 1. Then we need to multiply it by 255 so that we get an RGB image or at least a, a values between 0 and 255 instead of 0 and 1. And then of course we are, uh, as I said, we are converting it into unsigned integer 8 bytes. And yeah, and then we are converting it into a open CV image, CV2 image, okay? And yeah, if you want to share it, you can just put this as true, but for now we don't need it. We are just returning the uh, the OpenCV image that we will use to run the model okay so after running this let's just read the image if you want to show it here I am the, I'm putting through just to see if the image has been read correctly yes so you can see this is the image that we read we are showing it no problem now to uh, run the, the code you just need to run this part here this is the first part just to uh, load the model let's wait a little bit Okay, okay okay so now the second thing is here let's just uh, set the image into proper format to be passed to the model and then he then here you need to define the uh, dimensions or the coordinates of the bounding box for me I am just taking uh, one uh, random bounding box that will be used for testing but for you I think preferably you should uh, adapt the code so that you can draw the bounding box using the mouse this will be easier than just taking values like this because you don't know what is the exact location of this point and this point and this point and so on so preferably you need to use the mouse to draw the uh, bounding box but since it is only a demo i am just taking one constant bounding box values so let's run this to define the input bounding box and here let's do the prediction so now we did the prediction we have the mask we have we have the bounding sorry we have the mask and yeah that's it because since it is not a supervised model so we don't have classes you just give the bounding box or you give a mask or points for us we just gave a, uh, a bounding box but it depends to the prompt that you want to give but the output it will be a mask without any class or something like this it, it is not recognizing the classes but it is just doing the segmentation okay it is it has the same principle as the deep mark model by google that has been released i think one or two years ago so it is almost the same uh, principles okay now after having the mask we can just show the image with the mask and the bounding box so i am just running it again now you can see here is the image that we had before this is the bounding box that we gave which is this one and this is the mask that has been generated by the model and you can see even the, the bounding box it is here it is not covering this part but the model is still segmenting it which is very very interesting of course there are always some issues here and a little bit here but this is not a big deal for now but if you want very a more precise model of course you can just draw a bounding box only here and of course the model should be very accurate in this if you just pre precise the bounding box as only this part and not the whole part here which is not necessary yeah so this was about the uh, how to use sam for medical imaging and you see that it is the same code that's provided by meta i just added the function to read the dicoms so if you have any questions about this please let me know and if you want to know or you have you, get, you want to get updated about the news about medical imaging you can subscribe to my newsletter which i will leave the link in the description and you will get a weekly newsletter about something new about medical imaging that will help you in your project so see you in next videos bye bye